Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, let's quickly jump into uh, seeing what can you expect to happen in your love life. I'm only going to use two bags this time, we're not going to overcomplicate it all. I mean, starting with a shitstorm right there with a tower energy. Um, in, in, in theory, it could mean several things. We're going to see the complexity of surrounding cards around this thing. I'm going to put that there, I guess. But we're going to. There's some type of upheaval that's uh, headed your way, Libra. There's some type of shocking revelation, uh, conflict or a breakup. Um, 16th of November, maybe of significance here. Yeah, um, you see, the problem here is, is that I do see that there will be somebody who is going to become rather aggressive. Somebody who's going to, suppose, speak their mind to you. Somebody may be angry. Uh, ravens or crows may be of significance right now. I might be dealing with a Gemini, Libran, or a Taurus. Uh, someone between the ages of 25 to 35, brown hair, green brown eyes, and lighter complexion. Uh, this thing has been brewing for some time, right? This thing has been escalating. It may have been going on for the last couple of weeks for you, it seems. And you've been waiting to apprehend somebody. I feel like this is your energy. Like, you are losing your fucking patience. You're losing your patience and you're ready to speak your mind with somebody, right? You're ready to tell them, uh, give them two piece of uh, two two cents of what you're thinking. And maybe it could be because this person had been ignorant. This person had been rather uh, deflective. You are kind of sick and tired of their very cold demeanor, it seems here. Yeah, might be dealing with a, a fellow Libra. This is, of course, your courtier card. But it's just like, it shows me two people of... Um, vast intelligence and vast high standards and morals but at the same time two people are rather aggressive towards each other so this is what's coming up here two people it's like oh okay there is an ending um headed your way as well um with the death card might be dealing with a scorpio but i feel like with the death card here i'm not gonna lie to you uh we i'm warning you it's, it doesn't have to be a bad thing Something needs to shift in this situation. Something needs to change. And there's no other way to change or shift the situation or progress with the situation if this tower moment doesn't come in. Somebody's not willing to move forward. Somebody's stagnating the situation. And I feel like you may take matters into your own hands. Uh, or you may be revealing something to your person, right? So we've got the seven of uh, wands energy here. So... <clears throat> It will feel like an uphill battle. Uh, I feel like this can be futile. This can be futile for you simply because your person constantly will have something back to say to you. Some of you may decide that being single is the right uh, the right way to go about things. And there could be significance of another female in the picture or another man. So, for instance, you know, <clears throat> you're seeing somebody and they have an ex. And this ex may be cropping back into their life, causing upheaval between the both of you. But then you're dating somebody else anyway. There could be a person coming into your life, could be a Leo in particular, um, Aries or a Sagittarius, someone above the age of 35, strawberry blonde hair, green brown eyes and tan or uh, sorry, green eyes and uh, lighter complexion. They may have a <coughs> orange cat. It's very specific, but that might be the case or a black cat. To be fair, there's too many cats in this deck. So there could be an innocent uh, message coming from a fire sign for you, like a person that... Um, wants to retaliate the friendship but then they may have some other innuendos on the flip side also your person is a bit bipolar your person will have an argument with you <clears throat> they have it out with you and then all of a sudden lo and behold two days later i don't know i said two i meant to say few days later but let's say for the argument's sake it will be two days later this person will come back this person will try to reinstate the friendship with you. This person will be very forthcoming because I feel like at the point of you cutting them off, this is the time when they're going to be like, shit, I'm in love. Like, it's like conflict between you two. <clears throat> One second. <clears throat> Sorry. uh i just have to note this down i apologize um <clears throat> right so yeah as i say conflict between the both of you 
it's going to make this person if you do cut off from them um i feel like some of you will be like i'm done some of you will be done for good some of you especially libra females watching this some of you um, at that at that moment in time you will be cut through with this person there's a choice and at the moment in time your choice will be love yourself your choice will be not to take any shit and your choice will be to draw a very firm boundary right but there's certainly a new beginning coming within the next 21 days from you watching this reading but on the flip side as well i feel like a lot of you will lose your trust in your person as simply put you will lose your trust you'll feel very defensive and you'll constantly be indecisive what if they do this to me again it's gonna trigger you a little bit i feel like what if this is going to you know um, what if this happens again what if this person does this to me again? What if this person is disrespecting me again? What if this person's being cold towards me, being very argumentative, breaking up with me, making up with me? And I feel like, you know, there is this trigger. There is this, like, conditioning of, well, P PTSD, not in this clinical sense, but you get what I mean? Like, there's this fear. Like, this person is reinstating some type of fear inside of you, I feel, Libra. And, you know, some of you may choose... Uh, to take a risk and walk away from the situation for good doesn't matter how much you how good you feel about them doesn't matter you know how much love you have for them because sometimes it seems like love is not enough like things don't change they're always very conflicted they're always arguing they always got something back to say they're always uh saying something mean towards you or putting you down or telling you that you're the one who's too harsh and you're the one who always ending things like they're reversing the blame on you and I feel like some of you want liberation from this type of uh, energy. Some of you simply want to be loved and to be appreciated and to be sought after. Um, <clears throat> some of you are getting a new contract or moving jobs, for instance. If you, there's any legalities you're dealing with, it could be something very simple as, I don't know, some type of paperwork you're drawing up or let's say a mortgage or whatever. It will certainly go in your favour. But I feel like with this fool and the justice, some of you are starting a new life, literally. Some of you are embarking on a new journey. Some of you could be even relocating. Some of you could be putting deposit on a new place. Um, so it could be that, you know, you just want a new life, period. It, like, you don't want the old shit. Out with the old, in with the new. The mindset is there for that, right? Oh, okay. And then you've got the king of swords. Yeah, definitely a lot of um, air energy. So I might be dealing with an Aquarius in particular. It could be that, you know, your person will be cutting off the third party or whoever they're dealing with. Could be a water sign female, blonde hair, blue eyes, lighter complexion. Could be Cancerian female, Scorpio or a, uh, um, Pisces. <clears throat> Say wow, okay. Then you've got the five of cups. There's definitely disappointment in how much effort your person is making. They're breadcrumbing you. They are breadcrumbing you. I know that Page of Pentacles, he has this little coin and it's just like nothing. It's a breadcrumb. They're not acting like a king. Then you've got the emperor next to this. Might be, might be meeting an older person on holiday or when you're traveling. Or you might be meeting somebody who's a foreigner, Libra. This person may be older than you. This person may be very well established within their career domain or just has a lot of respect. It also could signal the fact that your person is going to continuously be very stubborn. They're going to be continuously feeling defensive and not opening up to you, but they'll be spying on you. It's like their way or the highway and this type of egoistical power trip is really bringing you down. It's really disappointing you. And with this page of swords energy again, um, this person will be spying on you. This person will be stalking you online. This person may be... Um, watching if you're online on whatsapp they may be always checking the post that you posted they may even go to the extent of checking who you followed or who followed you back or who's commented on your uh, thing and then them seeing you living your best life and them seeing that you're actually progressing and you could be tapping into this emperor energy which is you getting a new job you're sorting out your contracts you're sorting out your finances you're building abundance around yourself because this is all you, that you're all about you're ruled by planet venus you want the luxurious things the beautiful things you love the beauty the arts you you like looking good you like smelling good um where we are in mars retrograde i don't know why this came up a specific message for some if you had been thinking about some type of cosmetic procedure it could be as simple as getting a filler 
uh, you are advised not to do it during a Mars retrograde unless it is a, um, a compulsory surgery. Okay, so bear that in mind. Try to postpone it. I don't know, that's just for some, some of you. Right. Yeah, this person, they do have issues. You see, you've got the moon with a page of swords. I don't like it. This is like a stalker energy. This person is stalking you. This person is acting like they don't care, but they care so much. To a point where they're obsessing over you. They want to make you... They want to keep you on your toes. They want to make it like they're moving on. They want to make it seem like they're not talking to you. They're blocking you. But they're, they're all up in your energy. And I feel like you can feel it. And maybe that's why it's difficult to also... For yourself uh, to detach from this person, right? So... Oh, wow, yeah. Look, the Nine of Swords. This, the, the person you're dealing with, okay? I'm just going to make it easier for you because the person you're dealing with, they do think you're soulmates because I've got the Queen and the King of Wands as well. There's a great deal of sexual compatibility there. But the problem is, is that the way they're acting towards you is a reflection of what's going on internally for them. With the Moon card and the Nine of Swords, this person is suffering from some type of um, hidden mental health afflictions. It could be actual mental health afflictions, but also there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of regret, there's a lot of guilty conscience taking place. This person is trying to start a new life. This person may be suffering, they're, they're not sleeping well. They may be um, succumbing to their vices here as well. And the best way they are able to be with you is through the distance. Um, I feel sad right now and I feel like I feel like you don't really know what's going on going with them. So the only thing you're left with is to have that apathetic feeling towards them. Like they just don't give a fuck. They don't care. They do care, Libra. I just, I must affirm this person sincerely loves you. They do care about you. They do want things to progress. The issue or the obstacle or the stagnation is this person's dabbling in some negative mindset, negative energy. The more they're trying to progress with things, the worse things are getting. There's some type of legal issues that they may be faced with right now as well. That you may have no idea about, right? There's some father wounds, some disappointment with their family, with their father right now. But, you know, in a nutshell, you guys will be fine. You'll reconcile. This person will proactively seek to reconcile with you. This person will proactively seek to, you know, to reinstate the past of what you guys had going on. Like, I feel, let's see what the outcome here is. But I feel like this person will come through. But if you really love them, you also, uh, I say, you need to give them space. But not space where you're cutting them off and saying, fuck you, I'm done, I'm out, I'm, I'm starting fresh, I'm single, ready to mingle, and I'm meeting other people, I'm sleeping with other people. You have to be the person who's the bigger person, who's patient, if you do love them. If not, then of course, scrap that and continue moving on, doing your thing, right? But I feel like Scorpio season is inevitably a very transformative period of time. So between, obviously, now, October 22nd to November the 22nd, um, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's, a, there's transformation. There's, there, there could be an, a, a, a temporary ending, but it's not ending for good. Like, you guys may say, you know, it's not working out, but let's just stay friends and keep on texting back and forth, just be mates. And then sometimes they'll come in and be like, but I want, I want to sleep with you. Like, let's have some fun and that type of thing. So it'll be very flippant and very, very unstable for you, Libra. So it's important to ground yourself. It's important to love yourself. It's important to work on yourself, your wealth, your abundance, the new projects you have coming in, of course. So, and also I feel like you guys are quite, you guys are telepathically connected. This is very interesting because we've got the Knight of Swords again and we've got the Moon. And we've got strength card. Pisces, Leo energy. You may be dealing with a Gemini here in particular. Again, 25 to 35 years old individual. I feel like it's, the outcome here is you actually, it says personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness. This is exactly what you need to do. You need to also listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine unnecessary worry let go of your fears revelation that will make everything clear something is something it will be revealed to you libra it will be revealed to you what this person is going through why they're acting that way why they've been so shitty towards you why they're being so defensive all the time why they're acting 
you know, the way they've been acting, right? Trust your intuition. I feel like still your intuition is still leading you towards this person. Even though things are really shitty right now, you still feel like there's something there and you're holding on to this and you're trying to tame that beast, tame that uncanny situation that you're finding yourself in, right? If it's resonating, don't forget to like this video. You've got the King of Cups. Wow, you've got the Queen and the King of Cups. This person will come forth. This person, I must affirm, this person has so much emotion for you that it's, it's, it's overwhelming it's overwhelming for them on top of everything else they're going through it's just they're not in a good place but this person is trustworthy honorable devoted someone you can completely trust a situation that is safe you know they're safe for you to love a solid romantic relationship hidden but well-intentioned emotions i love that hidden but well-intentioned emotions this person needs to seek a counselor this person is very kind as well just like you are Ah, oh, the six of cups. Look at that. You got six of cups. There's definitely a reconciliation. Whatever you're going through, please just know it will get better. Whatever you're going through, just know that this is also augmenting your personal strength. It's making you be more patient, making you be more understanding, compassionate, tolerant, you know, and the dreamer. This is the full energy, right? So in a new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. Precisely that. that there's a new beginning coming for you both or there's a new person coming see how uh, how it may apply to your personal cir circumstances of course but not everything just please remember not everything is as it seems we always as as a as our brains just compute it's just simply we always think of the worst scenario we always think of the worst things we always think of you know that they don't care for us and we start reflecting and becoming insecure because we feel like their behavior is a reflection of their feelings for us and normally most of the time as many readings as i've done it's really not the case you need to give the other person benefit of the doubt because there's love there there's reconciliation there and there's also this great deal of very deep attachment you've got three sets of court cards again that I, I keep on seeing which is really odd because it doesn't happen you've got the king and the queen of swords you've got the king and the queen um of cups and then you have the king and the queen of wands it's like you connect on so many different levels emotionally sexually energetically intellectually morals wise this person is perfect for you this person you go way back you have some history maybe you have a very in-depth past life connection and now it's time to come together and you know fulfill your purpose fulfill your mission so i hope this was helpful but i appreciate you watching don't forget to subscribe if you want a private reading the link is in the description box below thank you so much for coming out